Breaking, warning issue to all Americans overnight of mass casualty event planned, here's what we know. America might be distracted with the problems at hand, but we never forget that we are a country at war. No matter what happens on a day-to-day -day basis, we always remember that we as a nation were violently attacked over 16 years ago and it's a score that we haven't settled yet because terrorism hasn't been wiped out. The rise of the politically correct movement and its acceptance of non-radical Muslims has somehow allowed them to worm their way into many places that they shouldn't be, such as government. That is especially troubling, considering that the threat from the Islamic faith and its admonitions to kill is, is far from past. In fact, according to top administration officials, the smaller attacks that we've been seeing in recent months are just a ploy to keep their members appeased while they plan a 9-11 scale attack. Daily Mail reports that one the U.S. security chief is warning not just all of us, but other countries as well, to be vigilant. Islamic State fanatics and other terror groups are planning another massive attack on the scale of 9-11, a top U.S. security chief warned today. Elaine Duke, Donald Trump's acting Secretary of Homeland Security, said jihadists were using crude knife and van attacks to keep their members engaged and their finances flowing as they plot another big explosion similar to the September 2001 atrocities. Speaking at the U.S. Embassy in London, she said intelligence is pointing to extremists plotting to take down planes to inflict mass civilian casualties. While the United States hasn't suffered an attack on the same scale as 9-11 since that day, we have watched the terrorists grow both in number and boldness across the globe. Our war on terror in the Middle East might have overthrown some open leaders, but for every open leader that threatens the United States and is eliminated, there are three more willing to take his place in the Holy War Crusade. Mrs. Duke said ISIS is currently in an interim period focusing on a much bigger endgame. The security chief, who has served three U.S. presidents, said, the terrorist organizations, be it ISIS or others, want to have the big explosion like they did on September 11th, they want to take down aircraft, the intelligence is clear on that. However, in the interim, they need to keep their finances flowing and they need to keep their visibility high and they need to keep their members engaged so they are using small plots and they are happy to have small plots. She added, creating terror is their goal and so of an attack, a bladed weapon attack, causes terror and continues to disrupt the world, but does not mean they've given up on a major aviation plot. If you've gone through airport security lately, you know that the Transportation Security Administration has cracked down on possible threats in a big way since way back in 2001 when we were first faced with this problem. The issue at hand is that no matter how much we increase security, human ingenuity increases with it. According to Duke, who is President Trump's acting Secretary of Homeland Security, there's even a distinct possibility that any plan could be blown up using a laptop, and that's just one of the many possibilities that she mentioned. She said the free movement of goods and people means security has to be tightened in individual countries around the world. She said, the laptop is one of the many aviation threats, we will never be comfortable and we will always be evolving. What we believe is that because of the movement of goods and people, we have to raise the baseline worldwide, we can't only consider our borders. Mrs. Duke went on, we think the level of terrorist threat against the United States too is extremely high. I think that it is challenging for you because you have the proximities to other countries, the ease of movement from some of the terrorist safe havens is a little easier for you, but we feel the terrorist threat is very high in the United States. The troubling thing about Duke's statements isn't why or how, but when. She believes that another large-scale attack is going to be coming to us soon. We might not see it coming. This is the big reason that the United States, and other free countries like it, need to crack down on potential terrorists. This is the big reason that the United States, and other free countries like it, need to crack down on potential terrorists entering our countries. We can only be free if that freedom is respected, if we don't protect the freedom, it will be taken either by those who want to kill us or those who want to control us. Either way, the freedom of living in America is a precious gift that is in jeopardy every single day. Here's more from our source on what is known about the possible impending attacks.
asked how the U.S. is tackling the threat of another 9-11 style atrocity, she said, We have worked on some strong measures that we can't talk about. We are trying to play the away game and that is working against them in their terrorist safe havens and homes. We do have some terrorist groups on the move, you just saw the takeover of Raqqa and so if we can keep them declining and moving they have less time to sit and prepare. Mrs. Duke warned that the number of homegrown violent extremists, mostly inspired by terrorist organizations, is increasing in the U.S. She said the ability of his militants to put terrorist propaganda on the Internet will appeal more and more to extremists as they are pushed out of Syria and Iraq. Mrs. Duke said web giants need to do more to detect extremist content online, and one way of doing this could be using the same technology used to identify people in passenger lists. Terrorists are strong, they are adaptable and the terrorist threat is the highest it has been since pre-9-11. We have got to have every tool that's possible, she added. A total of 2,996 people were killed during the September 11th attacks, when Al-Qaeda suicide attackers hijacked planes and flew them into the World Trade Center in New York and the Pentagon in Washington. Earlier in the day, she met the British Interior Minister Amber Rudd to discuss how to force Internet giants to do more to tackle terrorism ahead of the G7 summit. Following the recent wave of attacks in Manchester and London, police chiefs have said the threat facing the UK is a new norm that will not change. Her chilling remarks came 24 hours after MI5 Director General Andrew Parker warned Britain is facing its worst ever terrorist threat in his first major speech since the UK was hit by a wave of attacks. The British spy chief said it was taking terrorists just days to hatch plots as violent extremists exploit safe spaces online to evade detection. It is harder for the UK to protect itself because of its proximity to other countries and the ease of movement from terrorist safe havens, she suggested. suggested.